returning state runner-up. And a uh, pretty good student as well, a winner of that Wendy's High School Heisman Award. They are underway in the final semifinal matches here of the night. Single leg for Pollock, trying to yank it in right on the edge of the mat. Cisneros trying to stay away from him, has a whizzer in to try and block it out. Pollock trying to yank him back in on the mat. Two undefeated wrestlers here, and Pollock gets the takedown. Minute five to go in the first period. Pollock wrapped around the right arm. Now they get into the riding position as they drive out of bounds. The other semifinal features Kendall Ray Cushman from Rangeley and Isaiah Churchwell, the Burlington Cougars. We are working our way up through 4A consolation matches. We've got three Class 4A wrestlers that we'll get to this evening, and they are not too far off. Once they open up these mats, we will have, we'll get to Derek Gray, the Fort Morgan Mustangs, fairly quickly. Wiggins, Kyle Pollock, riding. Got a hold of both wrists. Get in control with them. What is he going to do with them? 30 seconds to go in the first period. Kyle Pollock of the Wiggins Tigers leading two undefeated wrestlers out here in this semifinal match. Pollock running a power half, getting out to the side there. Now just has that half on, trying to trying to bowl his opponent over. Blocks off that far wrist to try and help himself out, but he's not going to have enough time to finish this out. Period will come to a close. And Wiggins Kyle Pollock will take a two zip lead into the second period. Wiggins Tigers dominant in this semifinal round. I haven't looked to see how many Burlington has advanced to the finals, but I've seen a couple. Plus Churchwell will be up for Burlington in the next next available match, so they'll be sending three or four to the finals. I think it's gonna come down to the wire. Going to be great following the team title tomorrow night. Don't forget to stay tuned. We will be on the Air Parade of Champions starts at 6.30. And we will have from the uh, first match announced in the Parade of Champions all the way through the final team results on tomorrow night. Burlington leading Wiggins in the team championship coming into this afternoon by three points, 67 to 64. Pollock and Cisneros on their feet in the second period. We've gone 40 seconds in this second period. Not a lot of activity. They're tied up out in the center of the mat. Pollock shucks him by, puts him in a front headlock, spins around behind. Nothing yet. Trying to pick up an ankle with a cross face. No points awarded as Cisneros still has that knee, and now Pollock gets two points for the takedown. He'll lead 4-0, 45 seconds left in this second period. Cisneros turns back into him. <coughs> Pollock with a cross face. Now he spins back behind, gets back under control. Fighting for wrist control underneath. Pollock keeping his weight on him, trying to keep Cisneros busted down. <clears throat> now Pollock comes out to the side with a big half, turning Cisneros over, has him flat on his back. That's a lot of weight on Cisneros. Ten seconds left. Pollock's just about got him pinned. He's flat. Can he get it in the final few seconds? And he's going to run out the period, but he'll go to the third period, leading 7-0 to zero over Cisneros of Antonito. Kyle Pollock's going to take the neutral position to start the third period. Already has a couple of takedowns. <laughs> Minute 50 left in the match. Kyle Pollock trying to move out in the championship match. Still waiting. His opponents have not taken the mat yet. 
his potential opponents should say. Minute 30 left in this match, so go back towards the center of the mat. Tie up there. Pollock tries to drag Cisneros by and grab a leg. Cisneros blocks that. They'll tie up again. Pollock tries a little, little shot again. Now he grabs a head. They'll tie up. Pollock's got wrist control there. Now Pollock grabs a single leg and they'll go out of bounds. Just about crashed into the scoreboard over there. 55 seconds left in this third period. Pollock leading 7 to 0. Cisneros tries a little dive for that leg and Pollock says thank you. Goes around behind, picks up the two point takedown. We'll go up 9 to 0. Pollock's working that wrist control underneath. Looking like he wants to go for that. A little half again. I think Pollock still has a little bitter taste in his mouth from the tough loss in the state championship match last year. And he's he rolls about Cisneros back. back over again on his back. He's flat. Now Cisneros loses a. Pollock settles back down. He's got good control though, trying to back back up chest to chest. Now he gets out in front. Time getting thin though, match is over. And there's, oh, just got the three points. Gonna be 12-0 win for Kyle Pollock. He'll move on to the finals as will five other Tigers. They go six and zero in these